Hello, friends. We are back with another two episodes of Jujutsu Kaisen. Today, we are going to be watching episodes eight and nine. We left off seeing Gojo's powers for the very first time. Uh, Yuji also saw Gojo's powers for the very first time. And um, I kind of fell a little bit in love with Gojo. I mean, it was already in the works, but seeing his big, beautiful blue eyes, I just, I melted. We met a few other really cool characters as well. Uh, I love that the group of uh, villains, at least what I think are villains at this point in time, are just chilling and hanging out on the beach in a tropical oasis that gives me so much life. I feel like this anime might have very a very interesting beach episode <laughs> or beach episodes. Who knows? I truly don't know what's going to happen in these next upcoming episodes. The only thing that's been hinted towards is the tournament. So I guess we'll see if that comes into play in these next two episodes or if something else comes up. But yeah, let's hop into it. Episodes eight and nine of JJK. More vending machines. <laughs> I'm saying today's the day Kyoto's principal comes here. To go over the plans for the exchange event, right? Ooh, we get to find out more about it? They do seem to love harassing us, don't they? Both Toto and Mai. Mai Zenin? Ooh. Fushiguro, was it? What kind of woman's your type? <laughs> hmm? And after that, drag Okotsu, or at least the third years, out to the exchange event, suspended or not! Which one's a Kotsu again? My type of woman's a tall one with a big gorgeous ass! <laughs> oh my god. Why would I want to discuss my taste in women? Especially with you, a guy I just met. Hmm? That's true. This guy's seriously antisocial. <laughs> Kyoto third year Aoi Toto. Introduction over. Now we're friends, so hurry up and answer now my question. Now we're friends. If only that's how it worked. Kugisaki's unarmed. I'll have to go along with this to avoid confrontation. Oh. She's never. Hammer. As long as one's character is unshakable, there's nothing more I can ask for. <laughs> oh! If you had said big boobs, I would have had to kill you. Shut up. I knew it. You really are boring. <laughs> Fushiguro! Oh, well. I mean, there goes poor Fushiguro. He kind of is a little boring. <laughs> Trouble sleeping? You've got open pores. <laughs> Savage. But you just trampled on my goodness. Your head looks like a pineapple, and you're about as <laughs> smart as one, too. You're flimsy and shallow. Both your body and your taste in women! <laughs> Technically, he's not shallow or flimsy <laughs> when it comes to taste in women. You're always just so boring! Oh, shit! Oh. Don't move. <laughs> what the hell are you two doing? Was that? Flakes. That was sick. That was sick. I'm sorry. <laughs> Give Okotsu a message. Tell him he had better show up. What a jerk. I merely panda. No understand human speech. <laughs> Just what do you think you're doing to our errand runner, Mai? Oh, you're such a loser. I didn't even notice you come in, Maki. So they're twins. My neck gets so sore looking up at others all the time. So I need you, dear sister, to look down on. Is that uh, Himeno's voice actor from Chainsaw Man? 
What's this? A challenge? Huh? Uh. Personal handshake. And it's with Takata! Huh? <laughs> In fact, I need these to even see curses. Oh. That's why I use curse tools. They already have curses imbued in them. That's kind of cool. I'm sorry, but Principal Yaga won't be here for a while yet. What is she doing? Have you no manners anymore? Have you lost all respect for your elders? I never had any respect for you to start with. Oh. Stop it, or I'll report you to the proper authorities. Oh, wow! It's Satoru Gojo in person, sitting right in front of me! Okay, that's why she kind of like freaked out in the beginning don't get me wrong here it was about as much trouble as answering a sidewalk survey oh, so cool <laughs> i'll be right back <laughs> if i can catch up to him maybe i can get him to take a picture with me oh my god Tom, Tom, Tom. <laughs> Time's up, pal. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> Incredible. What the? That's nasty. What does it mean? Did you do that? Inside the theater? <laughs> That's his power? So you can actually see me. Who is that? It's a gruesome sight. Are you ready to witness it, Itadori? No! It's okay, I get to watch one more. She didn't get the tea. My tea? <laughs> so this moment has finally come. Huh? What's this? Are they at a con or something? This is just plain annoying. This is my duty as a fan and as her future husband. Wow. Did you have to wait in line long? It was more the people than the line, really. Then come back again when you're feeling better. I get it. Takata's the kind of woman who's difficult to describe in mere words. I am very gay. <laughs> I think she's very gay too. <laughs> ah! Episode 8 done. That was a great episode. We got to meet a few new people. It looks like at the end there, um, Yuji and the other guy, I think he's one of the ones that I knew of before watching the show. I think his name is um, Nanami. Nanami? I don't know how to say it or pronounce it, but I've been really looking forward to meeting him. So I'm guessing next episode uh, he'll be in it. A little bit more also the zombie guy I don't, I don't know if zombie is the right word but he's got the stitches on his face silver hair is he a curse just a curse or a person it's hard to tell i think sometimes and then who was the other guy the younger guy following him also, I, I think throughout the episode, they kept throwing out names, and I don't remember anyone's name yet, so I don't know who they're referring to. So hopefully that gets cleared up next episode. I'll try and keep an eye out for names for sure. And then I'm also a little confused about, I guess, maybe the, the politics that are going on with Gojo visiting um, the other principal. Is he the principal of another school? I'm guessing maybe it has something to do with the exchange event, right? Because exchange? Another school, I would assume. But it sounds like 
that principle is trying to suppress something and it's not working and that's why there are so many special grade curses now. I, I don't know if I'm following that correctly, but that's what I sort of picked up on, I think. Uh, feel free to like clarify that for me because um, I'm not 100% sure I understood that interaction fully. I feel like Toto and Mai are the kind of characters that you grow to love. Like they come off very abrasive at first, but then you learn more about them and you see what kind of people they are and they turn out to be like really good people and and you end up uh, falling in love with them because they're awesome. I mean, I'm already feeling that way in just that episode, just especially the end there, going to the convention and seeing the celebrity. That was amazing. And again, I said this a few episodes ago, but I think that's part of why I'm really enjoying the show is it sh it's, it's showing us the downtime. It's showing us what... Um, these heroes are getting up to in their downtime. And I think that does a really good job, even if it's something really short and quick, it does a really good job of fleshing out who they are as people, not just their powers. Like, their powers are cool, great, fine, whatever, but I want to, like, I, I don't feel a connection to their powers. I, I feel a connection to who they are. But yeah, I have a feeling next episode we're going to have a little bit more action. So let's hop in episode nine. If there was a button that would make everyone who hated me die, I'd push it without hesitation. I kind of see the logic there. <laughs> Even if they vary to some degree. So you were looking at her boobs. I was not. I. <clears throat> Wait, are they the same people or different people? I'll tell her! I'll tell her! I'll tell her! You're not anywhere near as hot as you think you are, Subasa. <laughs> Create the perfect human being! She's not gonna let us bang her! Sounds like she doesn't even want to hang out. Stop talking! It is the same, guys. Yeah, so? Ought to learn some manners. <laughs> My question, though, is why he did that. Are you going to condemn me now? Uh, were those three special to you? Or were they your friends? Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, is this the start of his villain arc? Why do so many of these people wear glasses and stuff to hide their eyes? A company man? Honestly, that's a really good question. I went to your school too, and there I learned one thing. Jujutsu sorcerers suck! <laughs> then I went to work for a typical company and learned something there too. That having to work for a living sucks. True. I do trust him and have great faith in his powers and abilities. <laughs> <laughs> but I have no respect for him! <laughs> huh? Go sell that to the higher ups, not to me. <laughs> You're right. Because frankly, I don't give a damn. Okay, I get it. <laughs> There's a small chance the young man could be the killer, but we can leave him to the police to oh. identify as. I have a duty to prioritize your life over my own. I'd rather you underestimate me than treat me like a kid. You are a kid. Realizing your favorite bread has disappeared from the convenience store. The accumulation of those little moments of despair in life is what makes a person an adult. True. <laughs> uh. Striking the point at that ratio when you draw a line along the target's length causes a critical hit. Critical hit! Are you listening, Itadori? Huh? You were talking to me? <laughs> In fact, it can even work to your advantage if it misses. I want to focus on the curse. It feels like I should be listening. <laughs> nice. All of that oh, that's a cool effect. I really like that. 
I don't like you turning your back on your opponent. You're the one who keeps distracting me here. <laughs> Whoa, let's go. The moment after your fist impacts, your cursed energy slams in. That's kind of cool. Double strike. Divergent fist. So sick. So sick, bro. His initial blow has very little cursed energy to it, but it reaches 120% of an average sorcerer's power. Interesting. Now I see why Gojo brought him to me. Hmm? Oh, pardon me. I'll end you now. <laughs> Please listen to me. Calmly. These creatures that we've been fighting? <gasps> They're human. Well, I guess I ought to call them former humans. Wait, but they took... So you didn't kill them. Don't get the wrong idea about that. Thanks. So the other guy left one body? And those... I don't understand. Because they took dead bodies out on... Um, on stretchers, right? Our foe is quite skilled. It looks like this will take more than moderate effort. So let's go all out. <laughs> oh! -ho! I love how stress-free it can be talking to you. Mm. Well, I don't really... They're gonna be friends! That's kinda cute! Because the cursed energy directed towards those is far too vast, they gained wisdom before they took shape, and they've <gasps> remained in hiding up until now. Oh. I'm a curse that was born from the hatred and fear that people hold deep inside toward others. That's kind of cool. While I continue investigating this matter, I'd like you to handle a different task. Hmm. The only one of the assistants who knows that you're still alive. So here I am. All right, that makes sense. Let's go! He's so happy. Itadori. I'm not a teacher, so please don't call me that. What, what so is he? Dude. I will <laughs> slap you. What, what what were those? Okay. So we learned that do we do we know his name? Silver hair guy? I'm not even sure, but we learned that he is a human curse, which is wild, and it sounds like he can I guess turn people into curses. Possibly, potentially. I'm still slightly confused because there were there were uh, three bodies in the theater. I guess we technically only saw one being wheeled out. Does that mean that that one didn't get turned into a curse? Or is it going to get turned into a curse? Like in the ambulance or the hospital or something? Uh, or the morgue? And then the other two didn't get found by the police question mark or maybe they did get found by the police but uh nanami and yuji had already fought them because they showed up first maybe that's what happened okay I, th I think i get it now i'm also kind of liking the friendship between the the gray-haired curse guy and jun junpei junpai jun i think it's junpei I feel like that's going to make for a very interesting friendship. I'm just not sure what Junpei's role is going to be. I have a feeling it's probably going to be a big one. He can see curses. So I think that means he has the potential to become a sorcerer, right? I think. So they're going to go talk to him. I wonder what they're going to find out. This is so interesting. I want to keep watching. <laughs> I want to keep watching so badly. Um, I also, I really do like Nanami. I feel like I didn't get to see, I got to, I got to get to know him a little bit, like his personality, I guess. But 
I want to see more. I definitely want to see more of him. I think Gojo's still my favorite, though. <laughs> I think Gojo's still my favorite. He's probably, like, everyone's favorite. That's probably a, a basic bitch answer to give, but I just, I don't know. He's so funny and badass, and he's so pretty. <laughs> and he has really good sense of style. He has cool clothes. I just really like him. And in the like end credits song or whatever, he has really cool dance moves. I don't know. I just really like him. Okay, that was episodes eight and nine. Thank you so much for tuning in for another two episodes of Jujutsu Kaisen with me. I hope you'll come back next week for episodes 10 and 11, getting into those double digit episodes. If you would like early access to episodes as well as my full episode reactions, you can head on over to my Patreon. I will put a link to that in the description of this video. I am also all over the internet, so feel free to follow me wherever you would like. I will put a link to my link tree in the description of this video as well. And of course, don't forget to hit like on this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more uh, Jujutsu Kaisen and other anime reactions. Would love to have you along for the ride. And I will catch you next week, folks. Have a good one.